Hello everybody, this is Dean Phoenix, back with episode 4 of my Bioshock Infinite 1999 mode scavenger hunt achievement tip series. That's a mouthful. <clears throat> anyway, we are carrying on and uh, this is going to be focused on the Hall of Heroes area. So, first things first, uh, an important thing to remember is the first time uh, you'll get attacked uh, very early on as you come to this bit here, um, there'll be a couple of enemies who come there. So if you put a possession trap where I did there, uh, that will take care of both of those immediately. Now you might have seen that I restocked my salts. Uh, there's a, a salts refill point and that will um, pretty much grant you infinite salts for these, these first areas. So make judicious use of that. You can come back to it whenever you want to refill your salts and that's very useful for the two exhibition periods uh, later on as well. Um, so in just a moment and the two guys are going to die, they, uh, they're they actually uh, killing themselves from the possession trap in the background and that salts repo thing you can just see through the gap there um, will have uh, come back, regenerated and so before I move on I get the salts back again. And that is very useful because obviously we've put quite a few um, vigors into, uh, not vigors, uh, infusions into salts already so we have more salts to use and uh, that's very useful. You can also grab a shotgun off this guy uh, if you wanted. At the moment I've just got the RPG, uh, the rocket propelled grenades and they're very useful as well. You want to put a trap in front of this, uh, whichever trap you prefer, it can be crows or whatever else. I just use the uh, bucking bronco trap because um, it doesn't cost very many salts but as I've just mentioned that really doesn't matter anyway because you can just refill the salts afterwards. So you can even put a possession trap there if you want, that's uh, easy as well. And um, just use whatever you want if you're farming achievements or you want to get any of those, use what you need to clear those out. Now make sure you explore this room thoroughly afterwards uh, because it has a couple of lockpicks and also um, a big bar of money, uh, one of the bar of silver eagles and more importantly an infusion and because we have put eight infusions into salts that's all I'm going to need for doing a trick that's coming up for getting all the gear that you could possibly want. There's an infinite gear trick which I will cover in the next uh, part of the walkthrough. Uh, I'm going to start putting them, the infusions, into shield. So I want eight in salts and six in infusion, infusions in shield by the end of this section, the Hall of Heroes, when we're coming out. Now, if you look at the top right, you'll see that a saving auto save just comes up there. And um, this is potentially important because if there are any pieces of gear that you really want before we do the infinite farming trick, uh, you can get them here. So what you can do is uh, there is a piece of gear before each exhibit and with that save point you can uh, grab one, run and get it. I've got Skyline Reloader there um, and then instead of carrying on this way to the exhibition uh, you can come back and go and grab the other piece of gear from the Box of Rebellion uh, and so here there's a second piece of gear you grab that one and if you didn't get a particular piece of gear that you wanted you can restart and you'll see that it puts me back in the same place and uh, the um, possessing the machines has reset and if I run to the side because the gear is randomized uh, when I grab this piece of gear now it will be a different gear. So if there's one in particular that you wanted you can get that. The only ones you could you'd, um, really really want are either sheltered life or hill runner's hat for the hats uh, or winter shield which is the best piece of gear pretty much um, for any area that has a hook but we'll get those later anyway. So I would recommend that you grab the uh, RPG and put a possession trap exactly there if you can or thereabouts uh, when you come to do this and do the peaking uh, exhibit first because the enemies all spawn up at the top and you can't get there um, because of that section uh, that is blocking you off. But uh, if you do that, if you're fortunate, it will uh, possess the fireman and he'll kill a few people for you. Uh, if not, it will just possess one of the other guys and that will usually keep the fireman busy. And then Bucking Bronco is excellent for actually uh, killing and disabling the fireman. Um, so if he's the one that's possessed, just let it run out on him first and then use Bucking Bronco on him afterwards. So you can see here with whatever you wanted, you could do this with the shotgun or the RPG or anything else. The possession trap lets you get up to this top area and generally keeps you safe. If when he goes to charge at you, you still have salts left as I had one use of Bucking Bronco there, uh, you can use that on him as he charges and he'll harmlessly blow up without getting to do his suicide charge on you. There's also a sniper rifle in that area so I grabbed that. Um, before coming to the other exhi exhibition here um, because it's useful for this little bit. 
So here I've switched back uh, to Blood to Salt because uh, that's the excellent uh, shirt that we covered in the Battleship Bay bit. So I'm going to assume you have that from resetting because that's quite easy and it's an awesome piece of gear. Um, that and Winter Shield are pretty much the two best pieces of gear I would say in the game. And then you've got um, Blood to Salt there getting you some salts back as you get kills. And uh, you can use the sniper rifle with possession uh, because possession will keep the enemies occupied and uh, also they suicide at the end of it, gives you a bit of time to regroup. So you can see here that they just sort of drop in in waves, I'm going to fast forward this next wave because it's just the same, you just get a few uh, shots with the sniper rifle, use possession just to keep everybody busy and uh, you can see it lets you get a few more kills with blood to salt. And then on the other side of the exhibition, exhibition there is a 50, uh, plus 50 salt there if you need it anyway. And uh, you can come to this side for the uh, last wave. So again, you can just use whatever weapons you've got and uh, then you can put down a trap. And the last enemy in this side uh, is a crow. And it's quite easy to take him out. Again, I just clicked it with plus 50 salt there. Hit him with the uh, Booking Bronco trap, which I love for the firemen and the crows. And uh, that takes them out. So you progress, there's a few other uh, enemies on the way back, nothing major, and then eventually you'll progress to this bit where we're trying to get Shock Jockey and Elizabeth will explain about bringing tears through in combat. Um, so here she will explain that you've got the freight hooks up top there and if you did if you did randomly get winter shield by this point then you can get those freight hooks uh, open as the tear and jump up to those whenever you want um, to get winter shield for invincibility but assuming you've not got it just yet stick with blood to salt and you can uh, bring through this turret and also possess the rocket guy and the turret down there um, so you see, you can just uh, possess the turret, that'll draw their attention and you can carry on sniping uh, and get a few hits in like that. So, uh, tons of good stuff to do there and uh, then just possess the rocket guy is the easiest way. And if you uh, use the freight hook tear afterwards, uh, you can restock your rockets and I just picked up his RPG as you see there. This discount dollar bill that you bring through a tear does not count for the scavenger hunt achievement and all it has is the clip increase at a reduced rate for the pistol so I don't believe that that stops the achievement for uh, scavenger hunt but to be honest I've never bought the pistol upgrades because it's a bad weapon so I don't use it. It's very helpful to have the RPG for this next section uh, so if you make sure that you pick up that um, possess these two machines and if you like the RPG as one of your main weapons uh, you could upgrade its damage and its clip there which is, which is extremely useful. Um, I don't use it very much personally but um, sniper and RPG is a very good combo so if you wanted to go like that you could do. Now this is really important, see the little level up thing there, I'm going to assume that you do this. I've got about 4,000 silver eagles there and this is the first machine that you can get possession for less and that is an incredible incredible value for money really uh, it's one of the more expensive salts upgrades but it's just so good it doubles the amount that you can use for possession and with enemies killing themselves uh, afterwards most enemies kill themselves afterwards it's just a fantastic fantastic upgrade so I would always say buy that you can see that at about 2400 silver rings left after that in it now you want to set a load of devil's kiss traps try and keep them on the opposite side of these sections because you're about to fight the first motorized patriot you can see the tear in the middle is medical kits so if you have managed to get sheltered life at this point um, that is very useful um, because you can use that tear and grabbing one of those medical kits will make you invulnerable because of sheltered life for a little bit of time to make this man's easier for the rest of it just uh, if you don't have sheltered life um, just make sure that if he takes your shield down like he does here um, you sort of run around and keep behind this cover and use the um, automaton the gun turret to deal extra damage with him and just sort of lead him into these traps and keep hitting him with the RPG and it's pretty easy if you do it that way otherwise he can rip off a chunk of health um, but you can take down the Patriot like that fairly easily and there's uh, three 100 salt pickups in the other tear that's in that room so um, make sure you're using Devil's Kiss traps and uh, that's really useful. When you come out you've got another um, bit of um, combat to do um, and here you just put a possession trap for when this uh, door opens or use crows or whatever else. One of the enemies is a fireman so again I stick to Bucking Bronco it's very useful for them and uh, there's another medical kit tear in this area 
and uh, if you run out of salts you can always double back into the room where you fought the Patriot uh, and there's tons of salts in there so you can run in get some salts and then come back to the fighting and like I say if you can see on the right there is the uh, medical kits uh, on the right hand side of the screen just behind the firemen um, which are very useful if you get in the screen. Now again, just going to uh, use a ton of the uh, salts and things. I've put a possession trap on the left, you can see. Uh, there's one in the middle, but there's also one just to the left. And that's quite a useful place to put one, because there's a Patriot coming. And he comes towards me to try and get me. And he runs into the um, possession trap, and then you can throw a Devil's Kiss. And possession and Devil's Kiss combo will um, do a lot of damage to the other enemies, and the Patriot will normally take out a few of those. Whilst he's distracted, he, he, on possession, when possessed, he does take less damage, but you can get some uh, critical hits in on the cog, uh, and you can also critical hit him by hitting the Patriot in the head, and then I led him into that Devil's Kiss trap again, and use either the RPG or the shotgun, just uh, hide behind that cover and uh, take him down. So uh, be careful with the Patriots, but if you make good use of all the many, many salts pickups around and dodge behind the cover, you should be fine. So, uh, the last thing we've got to do here is, uh, before you get shock jockey and then it's just, you know, a bunch of standard combat on the way out, um, is to use extra extra for this Vox Spawn if you want a little bit of uh, extra Silver Eagles. Grab everything here and make sure you don't miss this infusion. And uh, again, I've put six infusions into shield and eight into salts. I'm going to be using that um, to farm infinite gear, um, which is quite easy. And if you do an hour or two of that, um, which isn't really that much, um, it'll make your 1999 easier. Please like, comment and sub if you found that useful and I'll see you for the next episode. Thank you.